In this morning's Money Watch, Sandy Weil, he is the former CEO of Citigroup and now he is the chairman of the National Academy Foundation, an organization that helps prepare young people for college and career success. And Sandy joins us this morning to talk about the foundation and about the latest news in the financial industry. Great to have you with us, Sandy. Good to Thanks be for here, being Rebecca. Here. Thank you. So I want to begin at NAF because this is an organization you founded 30 years ago, 30 plus years right. ago. Um, you've been very involved in it. What do you think makes the organization successful? I think what makes the organization successful is we teach kids about what the world is about today and where there are opportunities. We have mentoring, we have summer internships, so that they get to understand that education is going to be the key that opens the door to their financial future, that there's something beyond that entry level job. We teach them how to feel good about themselves, and we now are in. Uh, 500 schools in 42 states with 50,000 kids. Our graduation rate is over 90 percent, mm. nearly double what it is in similar schools in the same community. And about 80, 80 to 83 percent of these kids go on to college. They do well and much better than other kids from the same community 10 years after they've graduated from high school. So we have a program that works. And you mentioned that people are doing internships, that they're getting experience also outside of the classroom. How do you formulate those relationships with businesses and companies to make sure it's not just a classroom experience? Well, we have 2,500 companies and government agencies that participate with us in the local communities. So they are, they are the ones that really offer uh, the young people the opportunities and they stay with these young, young people. And it really opens up their eyes to what the world is really about. And if we don't understand that we have to educate our people, America is not going to be the leading country in the world that it is today. And uh, when you look at, for example, engineering, where there's great opportunities, less than 3% of the engineers in the United States come from the minority community. Hmm. Well, we're not educating people about where the jobs are. And that's one of the problems why unemployment is so high today. I want to get to that high unemployment because that is one of the things driving these Occupy Wall Street protests that have been happening all over New York City. What is your thought about these protests? Do you think that the anger towards big banks like Citigroup, for example, is merited? Well, you know, I, what I really think is that it's time it's time to stop pointing fingers about the past. I think there's plenty of responsibility to go around in what created the problems, especially in the housing market and the mortgage market, from regulations, from government, from government agencies, and the financial industry. But I think that if we want to get our country moving again and we want to create jobs, we got to start getting people to work together. And we will not be able to build this country again unless we get the financial industry to be partners with, with the government, with, with all the different constituencies, and work towards getting our country moving. That is really the... If we, if we are so possessed with thinking about the past and pointing figures, we're not going to get moving. And that's bad. Real quickly, we're, we're almost out of time here. What do you think about breaking up banking practices that are, for example, proprietary trading from commercial banking such that a bank can't go out and make deposits with common people and then also on the alternative side take risks in the stock market? Listen, I was brought up for America to be a leader. And our country had the leading financial institutions in the world. Everybody is copying our model of capitalism. The communist countries are capitalists. It, you know, I think that is a shame to get the financial industry where we can't be the leaders in the future. We should be. That's, that's what America is all about. I would love to talk to you further about this, but we're out of time. Sandy Weil, thank you so much for being with us. We really appreciate it. Thanks very much, Rebecca.